the next up on their feature film list, and out of all the ones that I thought, well, Rob's going to love this, <laughs> this is the one that we got. Swamp Bro, Thing. Come on. <laughs> They're going feature film with Swamp Thing. Easily the most extreme example of James Gunn and Peter Safran's conviction to diversify the DCU. Swamp Thing will investigate the dark origins of Swamp Thing, Safran said, though the prism through the prism of horror. Now, mm. Gunn said something very interesting in his video about this. He kind of suggested that Swamp Thing is going to be kind of separate from the DCU but will still tie into the story. Which makes sense. So I'm not really clear how that is going to manifest itself, but Rob, I know you were one of the people I know. Uh, Chris Carr has been another one that has been extremely enthusiastic about getting Swamp Thing on the big screen. Obviously, they tried a little They tried a little something-something with, uh, with TV. Didn't go so well. They canceled it after one episode. But under gun and the fact that they say they want to take this in a horror route, what do you think about the sounds of Swamp Thing? Hello, James Wan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. he's going to do this. He, he The, the ill-fated show that got the short end of the stick, the, the fact that they're not doing that Trench Aquaman series. Are you kidding me? James Wan was born to make this movie. Born to make this movie. And gosh, who's producing his lit new film? He's got this, oh, I don't know, he's following up Aquaman with another Aquaman movie. And who was his producer? Peter, Peter Safran. Safran. You think they didn't call James Wan and go, bro? Oh, and by the way, who's James Wan's current business partner? Oh, well, a little guy by the name of Jason Blum. Mm -hmm. Don't call him little. Who, who knows a little something? <laughs> knows a little something about horror. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just uh, I, if James Wan directed a Swamp Thing movie for these guys, I mean, come on. He doesn't even have to leave the lot. He's in his Aquaman post production suite right now. I'm just like, let's just transition it over <laughs> Swamp Thing. By the way, yeah. James Marsden in the live chat. Just threw in a, a name. I, I look, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Happen. I saw that. Guillermo del Toro to direct a Swamp Thing Well, movie. that's that would be a, another, yeah. Fuck me. Are yeah. you kidding? I can't, like, that would, look, I don't think that's what they're going to do, but how how crazy appropriate would it be if they got Guillermo del Toro to direct a Swamp Thing But movie? they've got, I mean, James Wan is a billion-dollar director for Warner Brothers. Yes, he is. And, and, I, I, and I'm sure he's still pissed about what happened to his Swamp Thing-produced TV series. You know, well, I'm sure nobody was happy with how that all no. turned out. But like, how how do you see, first of all, there, the iteration of Swamp Thing in the Harley Quinn animated series is great. I don't know <laughs> if you've seen that one though. Mm -hmm. But how do you see Swamp Thing being? I mean, it's hard to say because we haven't actually seen this new DCU manifest yet. But how could you see it tying in or, or fitting well, in with this universe? The thing about the Swamp Thing and the whole the green and all that is an incredibly powerful multi dimensional. Uh, part of the yeah, DC. Well, he's considered one of the most powerful beings yeah, the on the DC planet. universe. And again, he's a character that can flit from the Elseworlds universe into the DC universe if he needed to. Right. And I think that one of the things, again, the Swamp Thing run that Alan Moore did coming on the heels of, of uh, people who came before him, that Swamp Thing run that he did is the, one of the definitive comic runs ever, not just of the 80s, but ever. You know, I've recently been reading they've they've re-released his run in in absolute editions, and it's and not only that, who crosses over with Swamp Thing? Everyone from John Constantine, the Phantom Stranger. There, there's so many other DC characters that they can spin off out of Swamp Thing. I think it's a great move. I'm surprised though that it's not part of the Else World, especially because it's considered it's. They're saying that it's going to be a horror film. What makes this part of the mcu store dcu sorry 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 <laughs> yes um what makes this part of dc versus being part of the else worlds yeah i mean that that's the thing right because james gunn said in that video it's like it's he's kind of separate from the dcu but it does play into the overall story yeah, because there's, it's gonna be there, interesting to see yeah there mm -hmm. are characters i mean people like i mean everybody from shade the changing man to kid eternity i mean there are there are characters that swamp thing interacts with like he's not in metropolis Mm -hmm. You know, right. he's off in into the dimension, like he, the swamps of Louisiana that are the focal the point. Bayou. Imagine like if the, the my, if, if in walking, I mean, uh, the last of us, what if Earth eventually became a living brain because the mycelial network? Uh, imagine Swamp Thing That's is the thing. apex yeah. of yeah. that network. So he's everywhere all the time kind of a deal. 
we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Masterclass offers classes on a wide variety of topics, all taught by world-class instructors at the very top of their fields. Each class is broken out into individual video lessons, usually around 10 minutes long. And Masterclass is completely accessible on your phone, the web, smart TV, and available via audio mode to listen to classes on the go. They have over 2,500 video lessons from over 180 of today's most brilliant minds. They're all available anytime, anywhere on iOS, Android, desktop, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Now, obviously around here on the John Campus Show, we love our movies. So why not learn filmmaking from Jodie Foster, or maybe directing from Ron Howard himself, or the great Neil Gaiman doing his masterclass on the art of storytelling. And you guys have heard me talk about my favorite masterclass, Business Strategy and Leadership by Big Papa Iger himself, Bob Iger, the new and returning CEO of Disney. So guys, I highly recommend that you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class. And as a John Campia Show listener, you get 15% off an annual membership. Just go to masterclass.com slash campia now. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off masterclass.